Shlam Aleichun, Chazianet, Assyria TV. Welcome everyone to Assyria TV. With me tonight, I have Marta Yuel Isho, who is the new president of ACE, Assyrian Confederation of Europe. Welcome Marta to Assyria TV. Thank you. I want to first say congratulations to this no, new role. Thank you. Um, so for the people who don't know you, can you please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, of course. Um, so I am 24 years old. I just moved to uh, Stockholm from a smaller city called Jönköping and I'm currently working uh, within finance. Okay, and if I may ask, what have you studied uh, before you came? Uh, I have a master in uh, economics. Okay, great. So uh, this subject about ACE, mm. uh, can you explain a little bit about ACE for the people who are not familiar with this organization? Yes, uh, so it's an umbrella organization uh, working to support the different associations that we have um, in uh, Europe. So we have Assyrian federations in uh, Sweden, in um, Germany, in Netherlands, in Belgium and in France. So the Assyrian Confederation works to support these different federations so they can reach their short and long term goals. Okay, and what's the aim for this organization, this umbrella organization? It is to be a supporting uh, organization for these different federations and at the same time work with uh, different Assyrian uh, subjects. Okay, more internationally. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. Um, and do you have previous experience uh, working in a board or in an associ association? Yes, I have experience from uh, different non-Assyrian organizations before and uh, that's uh, where I uh, realized that I really like to work with, diff with the organizations and uh, that's why I also applied to be a part of the Assyrian Federation. And now I am in the board of the Assyrian Federation here in uh, Stockholm. So that is my previous experience in this. Mm. And how do you think this uh, is a benefit for you working uh, as a president for ACE? I think it's very beneficial, especially if you've been working with different associations here in Sweden, uh, since there is a big amount of uh, organizations here and uh, we follow different rules and they have a different kind of structure that is more organized and make you reach these uh, goals and visions that you set. So I think that experience will uh, be beneficial both in the Assyrian Federation but also in uh, the Assyrian Confederation where I will be able to implement these uh, different um, structures that we have here in Sweden. Mm. Yes, I definitely think so as well. Um, so uh, do you have any, maybe it's too soon to say, but do you have any subjects that are, uh, that you think are extra close to your heart that you want to work with or any specific changes you're thinking about implementing in ACE? Um, the prior priority is of course to support the different federation that we have and help them with uh, all kind of questions but at the same time the changes that I want to see is actually to have a more structured organization uh, this is a pretty young organization it's been here for three years and it takes time to build it so I think I will implement these uh, different uh, strategic uh, structures that we have here in Sweden, implement them in the confederations. So we will be able to reach the confederations goals and uh, develop the work uh, that we have. Okay, and you mentioned there are representatives from different countries involved mm -hmm. in ACE and uh, more like pra practical, how um, how often will you meet or uh, will it be in the headquarter in Brussels? 
Uh, yes, uh, since uh, the board of the confederation is consistent of uh, different uh, people from these federations, uh, we choose to meet in our headquarter in Brussels, uh, since it's closest for everyone, but also because it's the um, it's a strategic location. In Brussels, it's where it all happens when it comes to politics, and it's easier to cooperate with the a European Parliament if you are close to them. So uh, we try to meet there and uh, yeah, organize the Confederation. Mm. And as you mentioned, uh, maybe some cooperating with EU Parliament, do you think it will be beneficial for us as an Assyrian nation uh, to work with Yes, of course, uh, we are doing very much in different uh, countries separately, but it's also really important to work together internationally. And I think that the EU Parliament, it's a, it's a big key in that. It would be uh, very beneficial to have um, connections there uh, since we are spread uh, all over the world. Mm. Yes, very true. Um, and. Uh, are you thinking about maybe to expand in the future or um, is it just more specific to European countries for now? No, of course the goal is to expand, to be where there is a series. Uh, for now it's easier to work with Europe since it's closest to us. But the, the long-term vision and the long-term goal is to have a federation in every country where you find Assyrians so we can work together and we can have this Assyrian community. Okay, and you mentioned at the beginning you're working and it's a full-time job. Uh, how are you thinking you will manage? How will you divide your time in between? Well, um, I'll be working eight hours a day, um, weekdays, and when I'm w at work, I'll do work. But after, this is something that I, I have a passion for, so I don't see it as work. This is really fun to work with, and uh, this is um, a developing position. So it's really easy for me to find time and uh, to put on this. Mm. And what do you think will be your biggest challenge in this as a president? Uh, the biggest challenge is uh, firstly to work with uh, different Assyrians from different countries where they have maybe different values or they have different backgrounds. Um, so in the board we will be a pretty mixed group and I think that will be a challenge to try to find a common ground and um, yeah I think that will be the biggest challenge. Mm. Yes and as the president you will be working with the board do you think it's important to uh, be able to divide the assignments you have the responsibility? Yes of course uh, one person can do everything and even if uh, I am, I am having the position as the president, it's all a teamwork. So it's really important to have a board that is available and that have time and where you allocate the different tasks. It's all about the team. Mm, I agree, yes. And for people who are not very active in an organization or association right now, what is your suggestion to them? Um, to get more involved. To get more involved. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to first to read more about the Assyrian questions, the Assyrian subjects and what's going on now and how the situation is. And then contact us. It's just to, you can contact us on social media, on uh, Facebook, on our website. Um, it's really important that people that want to work with this, they find somewhere to work with the Assyrian questions. And we're happy to have more people working with this. Mm. Yes, and there's always something to do, something yes. to help with. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
And with that said, uh, I want to thank you for this uh, short interview and I want to wish you a very good luck with your future assignment. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching this short interview with Marta Yuel Isha, the president of ACE. And if you're more interested in learning more about uh, Assyrian Confederation of Europe, please go visit their website, assyrianconfederation.eu.